This is the drill we're going to use to make our knitting project today. I'm going to make a hat with chunky paint box yarn and I'm going to use one ball. I have a knitting machine, a drill, a knitting machine attachment. So if you don't like cranking all the time, then this is perfect for you. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it up and show you. I don't even need to take this part off. All I need to do is take this and put it over the handle like that. So that's fully on. And then I'm going to just test. Yeah, that, that works. That definitely works. We just need to see what it's like with the yarn. I'm going to start off with some waste yarn. So I'm going to thread the machine as usual under the first peg and then under every other peg for the first round. Now I'm going to thread my yarn through the tension gauge. So this is just a piece of yarn I'm using to make sure all the stitches are aligned and then I can add my main yarn. I'm gonna do about 10 to 15 rows of this and I'm going to start using the drill. There we go. So that should go round. All good so far. Oh, okay, that come off. Oh my god, it's got the row counter as well. Oh, I forgot about that. That's brilliant. Right, let me put this upside down. Doing pretty well really. I have to unravel the yarn a bit but I'm not having to crank. So far so good. The drill is doing well. I don't think we have any major issues. I don't trust it. We're going to put that into the middle. Pop that like that. And then I'm going to cut that piece. Now the main yarn is going to go here and then tie them together. So we're going to go round. So I need to make sure that's underneath there and that's kind of tight. To that what what has happened there that one oh dropped a stitch there okay so where the stitch is i'm gonna put a stitch marker in that i have some new stitch markers new ones i'm just going to get that stitch so it doesn't go anywhere okay let's just do that and then see happens so that stitch is picked up so the first couple of rows I think I would crank okay now I've done the first couple of rows now what I'm going to do is just drill, drill, drill. We have dropped these stitches here. We've got one, two, three, and mm, there's like one here. It looks like it's been dropped. I'm going to go put that back through the gauge. now i'm not happy with oh we had a really good thing going on and now it's just 
got holes in. It is because of the gauge. The gauge was not wasn't right. But we have there's not much of this left, so I'm just going to cast on some more waste yarn. I got a bit of trigger happy there, and there's some holes in it, which I'm sad about. I might be able to rectify them, but we'll see. I'm just going to change back to the waste yarn. I'm just going to crank normally, just for now. I love taking it off. So I'm going to go around the other way. Twice. fix that right let's see what we've done okay thank you mr drill it's been good this is really hot now i think we've made ourselves a bit of a hat now we can finish it off what about what has happened here has it gone to a different that's what will go through how's that gone huh okay let's just stitch this hmm see that's a bit weird as well. What is going on here? That was the ah. Uh, that was I don't know. <laughs> okay, we could. That could be okay. I think that could be alright. I know I shouldn't cut these, but I'm still going to leave the stitch marker there. I'm so impatient. I'm like cutting everything apart. I'm just cutting the bad bit off. Don't worry, it's like a bad apple. If this is going to be the bottom of the hat, then all I need to do is take the end, wherever it is, wherever the end is, and then I can sew it up. Okay, right, we've got an end. So what I'm gonna do is kind of like gather the hat up like that so it looks like a hat. So darning needle, I'm just gonna go around every little loop. We can pull, pull, pull. We'll pull that, we take our stitch marker out, and then we can, I reckon we can do it like inside. that off. We won't think about these, will we dears? If you don't tell anyone, I won't. So now we're going to take all this off. I would like to do it with a crochet hook. I'm going to use a seven millimeter hook and I'm going to use the yarn that I was using. going to single crochet all the way along on these parts which I find is the easiest way to get a nice edge Of the hat now magic happens because we can take the waist yarn off I 
actually think it's all right. This is disturbing. Why is that doing that? Okay, what I'm going to do is weave in these ends. It's like basically one line of stitches which didn't go to plan. Really pleased with that. And if you spray it down with water or just wet it a little bit, then that'll look even nicer. I think without the drop stitches, that would be a winner. I mean, that's bad for a drill, is it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I answer all your comments. That was 70 rows of tube knitting on the knitting machine. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel because I bring out new videos all the time. And if you like videos like this, then you're gonna love this one where I actually make a hat using crochet, which is actually quite good. <laughs> I'll see you there.